And all at once I lost my breath And all at once was scared to death And all at once I held the earth and the sky Now I've met Miss Jones And we'll go on meeting till we die Miss J and I Miss J and I Hey everyone, Tony Winston here for Jazz Piano College. You know, uh, learning the lyrics to a song that I've played many times as an instrumental, but um, never sang it before, so I thought I'd give it a try today. Uh, a couple of good ideas I'd like to work into this song. Two things I'd like to just kind of go over is how to move from the three chord to the two chord in an interesting way. Now, most people are going to go, you know, have you met Miss Jones? And this, I'm sure this is what I did, something like D seventh to G. Or, you know, A flat seventh, tritone substitution, to G minor. But there's a couple other ways, and let me show them to you, and then we'll talk about it. All right, that was D flat, and that was E seventh, both, both seventh chords. And where did these come from? If you take this diminished chord right here, this diminished chord, Right now, it's just a diminished chord, but it could function as G seventh with a flat nine, uh, B flat seventh with a flat nine, D flat seventh with a flat nine, and E seventh with a flat nine. So it could be any of those chords. So why not, instead of you know having even the flat nine in there, just try the chords in their pure and simple way. And you know, they all work, but some of them are just kind of more uh, interesting than others. So one way would be to go like that, just to go to G seventh first. Maybe put, put the flat nine in and then just go. But you know, the root movement has stayed the same there on G. Another way would be to go um, B flat. And there, you know, the only motion we have is from here to here, so it's okay. I tried D flat and this one has a lot of motion this note will go up a half step and these two go down a half step so you know, it really sounds good and also the E chord you know you've got the same motion going down here and the E moves up there so you've got three half step M movements and it sounds pretty good and if you're improvising you can use these ideas you know to uh, develop a, a nice interesting line a minor sorry uh, something like that maybe You know, you want the, the voice leading to be smooth. Maybe, uh, like that. Let's try a little bit with the E chord. Pretty sweet, really. And of course, 
The diminished scale that goes with this diminished chord will work, for, and it's the correct diminished scale to use with every one of those dominant seventh chords. So that's the diminished scale. And I'm, I'm gonna go over all this stuff on chordy. There, I use the E chord and that same diminished scale that, that would have worked for this chord and also works for this. Let's try it with D flat. I need the D flat like that. Can't put the nine in. That's, that's not exactly gonna work. I think it really works the best over the E chord. It works pretty nice over the D flat too. I kind of like not using the diminished scale and just, you know, outlining the chord. One other motion that's pretty interesting, I've covered this one before on songs like Beyond the Sea, but uh, if you're going from B flat down to G, uh, you know, instead of just going to A minor, uh, think about where that A minor leads. It leads to a, a D seventh a lot of times, right? A minor to D seven. So just use D seven instead. And I'm just thinking now, would, would, uh, You know, I said D7 would work, would F work, would B, uh, A flat work, would B work? I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, A flat works, I gotta change the bass line, so it's not really the same progression anymore. Uh, let's try, um, what was the other one, B. Kind of. So. And the best one's D, of course. Do hear that a lot now and have have you met miss jones you know to go to the bridge we get to that c minor and then f to get to the bridge so you could use it here too you know go to f sharp or or, or g flat there would work or maybe a Lots of possibilities, and uh, hopefully that will, you know, expand your harmonic horizons a little bit. I think the old-time piano players, Fats Waller and Art Tatum, had a much better grasp of this kind of thing than maybe some modern piano players do, because, you know, we're so hung up on, you know, playing, you know, McCoy Tyner voicings and fourth voicings, <clears throat> and, you know, doing these really thick voicings on the standard chords. Stuff like that, you know, putting a lot of tension and all that kind of thing into the chords. But, you know, I think some of these kind of more old-fashioned ways sound pretty good. All right, I'm going to change into something a little more relaxing and get to work in the studio and continue this with the uh, Chordy app.